To shed the light on the ongoing situation in five constituencies throughout the state of Kuwait, we are moving to a live stream with our correspondent Farid Deshti from the first constituency. Farid, good evening, sir. And could you tell us uh, exactly how is the voting process going in the first constituency and the measures taken by the governmental bodies for the success of the electoral process? Thank you, uh, dear colleague Abdurrahim. I just want to say uh, good afternoon or, or good evening to our viewers uh, in Kuwait TV. And definitely, uh, we are really happy on this beautiful uh, National Assembly Election Day, Kuwait 2023. Uh, and also the title, the big title, Abdurrahim, it is correcting the course. And definitely, uh, speaking of the whole operation uh, I have with me, uh, I'm honored to have with me uh, Prosecutor Taif Al Ansari. Prosecutor Taif, it's really an honor to have you with us in Kuwait TV. Uh, I would like to ask you about the whole operation on uh, the election day today. Uh, how did it go? Could you elaborate on that? Thank you. The whole operation started from early morning and voters were, uh, were few at the beginning and they started gradually to increase. It reached 30 at 30% until noon and after that the whole situation were very smooth people were cooperative and there is no difficulty or any obstacle so far that's amazing uh, prosecutor Taif could you tell us more uh, about the percentage what do you think so far the percentage of the voters in this polling station it's reached almost 50 percent 50 percent anything you add thank you so much great thanks to you Thank you, Prosecutor Thank you. Taif. Uh, dear viewers, uh, that's it. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, the whole thing, the whole process is smooth and uh, there is no obstacles whatsoever. And I would like to thank all the uh, Interior Minister and uh, the Health Ministry, the Fire Force, force. all the uh, people are really cooperative and we are really happy to have uh, this uh, uh, national uh, election uh, for the Assembly Election Day. To you, Abdurrahim. That was Farid Dasi. Let's move on now to the second constituency with our correspondent, Abdullah Al Ajmi. Good evening, sir. And could you describe the situation at the school at your area? Good evening, Ahmed. Yes, uh, currently we're at Al Ahmadiyya School in, uh, in Mansouria area in the second constituency. And according to the uh, main committee behind me right now, there's so far 500 people voted out of 760 people in the main committee behind me. And in the subcommittee, which is located in elsewhere in the school, so far 420 people voted out of 720 and 27 people, which makes approximately 70% of people voted so far, which is a, a good turnout. Um, for the voters and the process of voting is going good so far thanks to the effort of the Ministry of Interior in organizing and guiding the voters to the uh, to the allocated place to uh, for, to vote and for the Ministry of Health uh, there's uh, there's uh, personnel from the Ministry of Health there's clinics there's ambulances ready outside and the Ministry of Justice in organizing the whole thing and uh, in uh, counting the ballots and making sure everything goes according to uh, its legal its legality and uh, of course to the people of Kuwait for coming and voting and making, uh, and making this a uh, success so far. And I would like to add to that there is uh, approximately one hour remaining until voting end. Uh, I would like to urge people to vote so there is still time if anyone still didn't vote. Back to you at the studio. We appreciate your uh, exerted effort. Let's move on to the third one. And we have in our correspondent, Mohammed Al Harbi. Mohammed, good evening, sir, and uh, good luck uh, covering the, the election. Could you tell us exactly what's going on in your area, please? Good evening. Yes, I'm currently at Hattin uh, area, which is inside. Uh, uh, Nasser Abdul Mahsin Saeed High School, which is in the third uh, constituency. So the process is going really smoothly because of the volunteers and the Ministry of Interior, which is guiding uh, all the voters to their uh, polling stations and where exactly to go. 
and uh, we can see all uh, uh, around the school uh, the, the efforts of all the ministries are going uh, together to help make this a smooth and easy process. I can see the people coming in and going out in a matter of minutes actually and we have less than an hour left in the voting uh, period and then they will close uh, the voting. So uh, we encourage everyone who didn't uh, come yet, you still have time, uh, you can uh, come and uh, cast your vote and be a part of choosing the suitable candidate that you see fit uh, to be in the parliament and shaping the future of our country. And back to you in the studio. Thank you so much. Now we move on and we can uh, keep the ball rolling right here on KTV2 to our uh, constituency and we have Saad Al-Azmi. Sir, good evening and thank you so much for being patient. Uh, could you describe the situation in your area and how about the voting? Is it still flowing? Any obstacles at all? Good evening, Ahmed. Yes, surely. I am at al Waha School in the Jahra area, which is situated in the fourth constituency. As you know, the fourth constituency is the second largest and uh, in terms of eligible voters. Now in the school, uh, I think I spoke with the judges and they told me that 96% now is finished from uh, and we have less than an hour before the election process finished. That is a high number for the uh, school and also for the Jahra area, which is dense in uh, population and eligible voters. The electing process uh, went smooth and uh, successful. Thank God for the all participants. And uh, I saw in the eyes of voters the eagerness to participate in this celebration, our democracy, and in Kuwait. And it was all without incidents or accidents. Thank God. And uh, I assure you that the process is now uh, almost finished. And we have less than an hour for the process to finish. Ahmed. And last but not least, uh, we go to another.